A walk in the park. Not exactly what these Blue Jays fans thought this day would hold. I thought, good, we got a game on Sunday. That's what Robin and Christine Williams were thinking while watching the Blue Jays do this. Swing and a drive again. Teoscar has done it again. The Jays were facing elimination in game two of their wild card series against Seattle. At one point, Toronto was leading 8-1. to one. That's when the Williams started making plans to get tickets for game three. They weren't the only fans looking ahead. It was a wrap. It was over. I mean, it was a celebratory mood. Everyone's on their feet. Arash Madani covers the Blue Jays for Rogers Sportsnet. He says the celebration at Rogers Center was short-lived. Fly ball, deep left field. The Mariners started to claw their way back, eventually taking the lead and silencing the crowd. You could hear a pin drop in that building. The Mariners hung on to beat the Jays 10 to 9, sending the 47,000 plus fans who were here at the Rogers Center home disappointed. Another Toronto team can't get it done. This type of misery is nothing new to Williams, also a long suffering Leafs fan. He watched them blow a 4 to 1 lead at the end of game 7 in the 2013 Stanley Cup playoffs, then also blow a 3 games to 1 series lead in the 2021 playoffs against the Montreal Canadiens. It absolutely compares the meltdowns the Leafs have had. 4-1, Game 7, third period, 8-1, 8-1. Adding insult to injury now, all of those online memes and the taunts from rival fans. My family in Montreal, they don't, they're, <laughs> they're relentless, yeah. And the comments are really, really hard. That's probably them calling right now. Probably them saying, <laughs> what's going on? Williams is trying to look on the bright side. He says there's still hope for the Blue Jays. Maybe they just weren't ready to take the next step. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto. Yeah, I thought they did all the